Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Rick Dangerous on the ZX Spectrum. Now, this is a lovely gift from my friend Andre, so I'll put the cover on the screen right now. Big, big box from Firebird. If you notice on the front, though, it's, it's a bit of a bit of a homage to uh, Indiana Jones and, and the Raids of the Lost Ark, realistically. In fact, the first level is kind of... Well, you'll see, because there's, like, a boulder, and you have to run out of its way. Remind you of anything? Anyway, let's go for it. So... Um, there we go. Rick Dangerous has crash landed his plane over the Amazon while searching for the lost tribe of um, Gulo. I'm going to go Gulu um, tribe. Or the lost tribe. Gulu tribe. And terrible just to fate, he has landed in the middle of a bunch of wild Gulus. Um, um, which is Gulus. I don't know. It's really weird anyway. Can he escape the angry Amazonians? So there we go. There's the boulder. Mm -hmm. Remind you of anything? Yep. So then we have to avoid the boulder by running. Run, run. Do do do, there we go. And there's a there's a poor poor tribal person got killed by Rick Dangerous. He takes he he's he's not bothered. He'll he'll kill anybody. So there we go. we got a gun. You gotta press the fire button. And forwards like a little stab. It's kind of stabs them up, shoots your gun, and down drops a little um, TNT pack, which we may le you need later. Oh damn! I did that for last time. I did this as well. So it's a real test of memory because you can't see what's in the rooms below you until you get to the rooms below you, and then when you get to the rooms below you, you've got to kind of make decisions before you've been there. So so you can use a lot of lives just getting to places because like what's in the room below? Do you know? Well, I do. There's a spike right there. So unless you knew that beforehand, you'd die. Every time. First time round, you would die. Again, with that, would you know there was a spike there? No. Would you know there were spikes there? No. It's very it's very much a test of memory on the on the spectrum. However, it plays really well. Um, extremely, um, extremely fast. I've got to admit, I'm, I'm quite impressed by the speed on this one. It's kind of flying along, this one. Now, I want, I want those. Yeah, you can keep. You can stay there. Right. Again, what do we notice down this thing? Nothing. So we have to stick to one side, and I fell on the spikes at the bottom. So how would you know that? You don't. You just don't. It's all test of skill, of skill, of memory, realistically, skill and memory, because it's quite fast reactions required to kind of do this, which obviously doesn't fit in my book because I'm rubbish at these fast reaction things. So we shoot him, and then we hear somebody die down below, and then we shoot him, get him to move out of the way. And then we go like that to get past that, because nobody would tell you that those parts were there. It's unbelievable, really. They're very similar, though. This between the Commodore, the Amiga... Um, sorry, Commodore, Amiga, yes. The Commodore 64, I mean by Commodore. The, the, the Amstrad CPC, they're all very similar. Actually, to be fair, they play really, really well. There's no, I have no major complaints about how they play. I've got to blow that up with a block, with a bomb. I'll set that off. Now, you see these bits on the floor? If you touch them, they kill you. So you have to blow them up. See, there you go. I've died because, like, rubble's deadly, which is totally ridiculous if you ask me. But anyway, rubble is a deadly, deadly thing in Rick Dangerous's world. So let's do this. Do this. Oh, I forgot about the bat because I couldn't see it. It was very green. Let's give it a go. It actually plays really well, though. I mean, although although it is a very much a test of memory and, and, and whatever else is, um, I didn't have very particularly fond memories of this 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 game when I first played it on the Spectrum, uh, not Spectrum on the first played it on the Amiga because that's where I was at by the time this came out, um, and I didn't really I I had it I had a, a special copy, um, and I didn't really get it I didn't see what people w w were enjoyed about it. However, now playing it a little bit older, um, I kind of get it. I get the 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 the, the they're rather enjoying the the. the the, d the difficulty of it... Oh, God, I walked into the bomb explosion. Um, the difficulty of it, the sort of the, the test of memory, I can kind of get it, and those fast reactions. I think by then, though, I was moving on. I think that's the I think that's the, the right terminology to use. I was moving on. I'll shoot him. Yeah, I sort of... I think I'd moved on. I think I'd been born with, uh, with, 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 with platformers. I'd moved further on than, 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 than most of them had at that point. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to have another go while, we, while we're at it. There was only a few minutes worth of play, so let's give, let's give another go. So here we go. But I think I'd moved on, and as a result, this is the, you know, this, is, this one passed me by. And actually, it's pretty good. It's, it's quite good fun. I enjoy it. It's tough. Um, very much a test of memory. Everybody who's, who's, who comments on this has, has sort of said the same about the previous versions I've played. They've gone, yeah, it's a test of memory. Um, 
little jump there. Sneaky little jump. I don't need a bullet for him. He can just stay there. Technically, don't need a bullet for this guy either, but we're going to give him a bullet anyway for points. But, uh, yeah, everybody sort of uh, commented on this, especially said how, how you know, how tough it, it actually is to remember all the things. And this is purely memory we're going on now with what I'm doing right now. That's all memory that's that's come involved in that. It's because I've done those sections over and over and over again quite frequently. Surprised I haven't seen it more on What's on the Tape, though. You know, my What's on the Tape um, things, if you haven't watched them, um, I would I would like you to go and have a little watch because they're really quite fun. Um, but 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 uh, if you play, watch my What's on the Tape, I'm surprised this hasn't featured before. However, I think it's last... It's because it's, 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 it's the, the older sort of... Um, game if that makes sense it's 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 not older it's youngest it's kind of the 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 end of the spectrum's generation so maybe just didn't appear on many as a as a copy also i think the loader is maybe a factor you know this sort of that that search and seek load that we discovered at the beginning because you'll see it when it's loading there the search and seek loader where you basically um it, it kind of loads chunks and then uh, it loads again sort of the next chunk and if it fails you can actually rewind it to the chunk before and it'll load it very useful i hadn't realized how good that was however they do make for very long loaders as a result gone oh we're doing well here oh there was this point ah don't do that i've run out of i've run out of bullets i think we can go over here and climb this and get that one i would have liked them to have experimented more with colors uh they they actually have put around um rick dangerous there's a block around him to so he doesn't so he doesn't clash with those backgrounds there but i think they could have gone with i think they could have gone with with more colors i think they could have i think they could have safely done it and i think that it wouldn't have made a big difference to the the gameplay i think it would have been fine Damn. Do I have to wait for that gate to go up? I think I do. This is getting to a bit where I, I, my memory is less, so... But yeah, I think they could have done... I think they could have gone... I think they could have gone the whole hog here, and we could have... We could have... Damn. We're, we're getting close here. We're eating through lives. You get plenty of lives. You know it's a tough game when you get loads of lives. Right. Go. I'm just going to run when that goes back up. There, run past. Excellent. I'm going to get this, which is more ammunition, and we'll go down the next bit. We'll see if we can get to the next section of it. Yeah, I think they could have. I think they could have definitely experimented with more colours. Damn you! That one got me. I've got fewer lives now. We're really reducing the lives here. There we go. Wait for this thing to go should go back up there we go it's going back up go 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 all right boom now i've got to watch these two because there's one of them comes further over than the other damn you missed it it's timing now that one's purely timing plays really well the specky though it's fast it's faster than i thought it was going to be i'm quite impressed I think I would have really enjoyed this one back in the day if I had, if it was early on in the Speckies generation. I think I would have been much. It would have been for me. It would have been a fantastic game. I would have been well into this from Core Design. Core Design, of course, being the the, the creators of the old Lara Croft, the Croft herself. Got him, got him. Right, there's a drop now. That's a guy with a mouth that shoots. Oh, damn. It was rubble on the floor. Got the damn rubble got me. Right, I'm, you, we're going to have one more go because it's actually quite good fun. I'm quite enjoying that. It's been a while since I've played it. and and, and or it's, it's the first time I've ever played the Specky version, to be honest. And I've quite enjoyed it. It's really smooth, though. The Spectrum version runs really, really well. Really smoothly, indeed. The Commodore version's good. The Amstrad version is, has, has, has a beautiful palette on it. Um, really enjoy, enjoyed the, the, the sort of colours that are involved in, in that version. Spectrum version is just so silky smooth, though. 
really is. It's just just smooth experience. See how fast I'm going now that I know where I'm going. We're just I'm just flying through the the parts here now that I know where I'm going. You just shoot through the rooms. Come on, go down there. I'm gonna let you go down there. I'm not even bothered. Get down there. Stay down there. Let's get in this next room. There we go. If you shoot the the, the the things, they explode. So you don't really want to shoot them. Yeah, really smooth. It's just it's quite a joy to play actually in the on the Spectrum version in the, in the sense of the the play there. Old trick there from 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 them as well, where they're putting the uh, the things in the foreground, so the fr in the front of you, so that you don't get the color clash. Nice trick, I like it. Okay, explode this. We are doing. We are flying. We are flying. All right, these to be exploded. Put that there. Hopefully, that's close enough. Yeah, it is. Got to wait for that explosion to finish. Boom. Very good. Uh, whipping down here. I want the I want the extra points. I don't think it adds to lives, maybe. Maybe it does. It's possible it does, actually. Good old Rick Dangerous. There we go. Climbing up there. Dropping down here. Get that to move. Wait for this gate to drop. All test of memory. Look at this. It's all memory now. All 100% memory. Right, so we now wait for him. We'll get this. Fire. Boom. Okay, and we're going for it. So we now have to wait for these guys to do their little little dance that they do. I ran out of ammo. I hadn't realised I'd run out of ammo so badly. Or maybe I hadn't, or maybe I just didn't push the button up fast enough. Probably didn't push the button up fast enough. We've got plenty of lives anyway at this point. So we've got plenty of chances to get past this particular section. It reminds me of Splunky, the new the, there's a modern game called Splunky. I really must find that and put that in the description because it's it's worth it's worth that. It's a it's a freebie. You can download it free on your PC. There is a modern day re there was another remake of it for the three sixty. Oh, damn you. Um, there's a remake for the 360, but Splunky itself is a really is a really good game. And the, the, why Splunky is is interesting, and that was silly, is interesting. Is Splunky has um, a procedurally generated um, parts, so you basically every time you play it is different. Um, it's quite difficult to play. It's quite a good one actually, though. Can recommend Splunky. I'll try and find it for you and put it onto the, put it in the description below for the PC. If you want to play it, give it a try. Damn. Timing's all off there. I'm making my own life difficult here. Getting past these parts pretty simple now. Whizzing past. After a little bit of trial and error. Okay, so it's just these guys and the timing for these guys. We just to make sure that both going back the way got him got him okay we are all right to go this way and then we jump into this next room oh damn the rocks they got me again i was just not looking i forgot about the rocks oh after all that of getting there i forgot all about the rocks oh what an idiot i've got one life left it looks like one one rick dangerous left to do this with really enjoyed this game sorry sorry if I've, I've, I'm going on longer than I used to do but I've really enjoyed playing this one did you play Rick Dangerous as a game that you you have fond memories of and what version did you play did you play the spectrum did you play the did you play the, the Amstrad did you play the, the Amiga version what player version did you play anyway I've been your host real giant demon thank you for watching please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video bye bye now